Hey people, Zarthwomp here, and welcome to episode 14 of Psychonauts! Last time we discovered that we weren't in our own, in Raz's mind, but rather Oleander's weird dream. That turned out to be a plan of him stealing children's brains to power his fleet of psychic death tanks. Still, a much nicer person than Mia. Because at least he's not making the children run that levitation course! Ugh! Shuddering thinking about it, just ugh. Children, Sasha and I must leave immediately on official Psychonauts business. Please talk to Coach Oleander if you have <laughs> any problems. We should be back very soon. Do not be afraid, Mia. Yeah, because the Psychonauts wouldn't want to contact Oleander. Hey, has not anyone seen Frank? The we were hanging out in the TV lounge, and the I got up to go to the bathroom. Has and when I came back, everybody was gone. And the animals I know they wouldn't normally be in the middle night, of the story, might be so more I'm a little worried. Than the kind you have darn you! Home. Darn you! you see Call her! Okay, Vernon. Hope you guys heard that! Chops, buddy. If you read this, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for letting my head get all turned around by a fast-talking filly, who, when it comes down to it, is duller than ditch water and half as deep. So I'm at the regular practice spot in the woods if you still want to be friends. Your old pal, JT. Nils. Oh, Nils. I was such a fool. You know that you and I are meant to be together. I mean, I can see the future, so I've known it all along. I'm coming to find you, little honey. <laughs> then we can be together again, Elga. <laughs> JT, I checked at the usual spot but couldn't find you. I'm going to try the backwoods next, hombre. Chops. Anyone see Milka, who I am totally dating now? I know she's invisible most of the time, but this time she's really gone. Please let her know I'm looking for her, Elton. Okay. That does it. I've been looking for people to bully for hours, and I can't find anyone. Is this some kind of practical joke, you guys? Not funny. Where did everybody go? Benny. Really, Benny? You didn't learn your lesson with the deadly Nelson? Children, Sasha and I... Uh, I don't want to hear about your business, Mia. Well, let's head over to where Mia used to be. That lungfish, that lungfish, I, I salute that lungfish, for he, for it has done a service. On sale now in the main store, we have a... Thanks for disrupting my moment, caller. Hear me, dream fluffs. They're yeah, good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. But anyways, as I was saying, just that lungfish, the hideous, hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata. As, well, there's your death scene. Ras just comes out on the shore. But anyways, as I was saying, just that hulking lungfish has saved many children from the horrid fate clutches of Mia. Let's take a moment of silence for the lungfish. Moment done. Let's go. Admiral, sir, <laughs> did you hear that? The hideous hulking lungfish of Lake Oblongata just kidnapped Lily. Lungfish? So that's what's been tearing up my canoes. Well, I know just what to do. You do? Great! Yeah, I've got some lungfish proof to lack. I'll just slap on a fresh coat, maybe two, and that's that. Admiral, the monster is still out there, and Coach Oleander is trying to take over the world. Ah, well, yes, the world's a crazy place, son, but, but don't worry. The canoes are safe. Well, th I can sleep well now, knowing that the canoes are safe. For what type of world would this be if we did not have the canoes? I mean, just if the canoes are not safe, I do not want to live in this world anymore. Did you hear about all these crimes, all these horrible things happening? But just, I take solace in the fact that the canoes are safe. Yep. <laughs> Anyways, down we go. To the bottom of the lake. Where your legs and arms will shake, and you'll hit this bubble and bake when you go inside the at the bottom of the lake. Boo boo bake deck. We will not know how much this takes. 
Because we're up the lake. Okay, I'll stop with the corny Sebastian the crap crawfish theme. Sebastian looks like a crawfish. Well, anyways, we know the one fish was here. But anyways, I love this theme. Just oh, and there are deep arrowheads down here. The FYI. Are still glowing. This must be where he brought Lily. Anyways, yeah. You if you actually want deep arrowheads, no, we don't do that. Just dousing. Yeah, you can get deep arrowheads down here. You know this is not what's playing unless I'm getting distracted. Okay. Okay, no regrets. You had to hear one last dose of central grunt sensual grunting. Okay. Anyways, I know what you're supposed to do, anyways. You're supposed to ah, get to the top of there. I was trying to be cool, jump up there. But no, I can't be cool. No god punch gotta go the long way. Yeah, luckily there are no cards at the Lair of the Long Fish. Just nothing. Okay. But yeah, this music is just so cool. So good. Anyways. <laughs> Boss time, boys and girls! This time in the real world. Okay, cough up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Anyways, the lung fish. It's gonna use your weakness of water against you. Just notice how the air bubble is actually going down. Now, anyways, you're supposed to punch this these box of nails. Because no one likes nails. Ah, ah, yes! Three hits! Boom! Yeah! Yeah, we're not really moving. Anyways, the one fish. You have to hurry because see how the hands of Galancio, they're ready to grab you. But anyways, we're actually doing this to the lungfish's point of view, which is actually pretty cool. Though the only thing is the this chase portion can be a bit slow. Granted, the music is pretty cool. It's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, but like I said, you're waiting more or less for the air bubble to move to get ahead. Because, like I said, you probably run ahead, and the game froze a gah! Oh, come on! Yeah, th thank you, game. I thought we were past this. Okay, walking slowly, walking slowly. Oh, why are we walking so slowly? Yes, we because we truly need to know that the lungfish was going to change just the direction the bubble was moving. Just Okay. Yeah, like I said, just this is the slow. This is, in my opinion, the worst portion of this fight. Just you're moving so slow. I mean, if this is your first time playing the game, then yeah, it can be pretty cool. But just for the most part, you're just moving so slow. It's like, come on. 
I, I don't even have anything to say right now. Just Oh, thank God. The lungfish is actually back. Anyways. Lungfish is actually going to be expanding the bubble out. Spitting things at us. These lobsters. Mute lobsters. And little lungfish. These suckerfish. Oh. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Nails! Pollution! Help me! Aid me, pollution! The power of pollution compels you! <laughs> See? And they want to clean, and they would pro- And you all just told me we would want to clean up this lake. Well, now what? Yeah, well, eggs on their face. If this lake was clean, I would rise be able to fight off this hulking beast. There would be no nails in which to punch so that they would go into its mouth. Just remember, children, fresh water. It's all fun and it's all fine and dandy until you have a lung giant hulking mutated lungfish that's chasing you down. Hey, I think I see a piece of teriyaki salmon jerky over there in that clam. What? Why don't you go eat that instead? <laughs> that's the first time I've ever seen that cutscene. Okay, let's keep moving, let's keep moving. Thankfully, this is the last chase portion. The next phase is actually going to be the final one. Okay, we're actually nearing the end of this thing. Now I'm gonna wait for the thing to go on because the longfish is gonna change angles once again. And whoa, and we actually need to slide down this rail and not get launched into the wall of water. That'd be bad. Now the longfish actually comes to fight us. Now this part can be a little difficult. You gotta get the longfish to swing at you. Get it caught in a clam. I I know it's weird. And, rip, and you don't even know it anyways. Punch, punch, punchy, punch, punch. Remember your training. Your training has prepared you for this moment. When you're going to punchy, punch, punch, punch a lungfish. Ugh. Cause this is... Oh. Go, 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 go. Yes! And we've won. We did it. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That, poor that little thing is not little. Tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal-sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus-lined air bubble beneath a semi-dry lake bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Whoa. Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! I have several objections to that last statement, but anyways, punch this creature. Oh, poor little thing. Okay, now let's tickle it. Well, let's go into its mind! Well, this is our first non-training mind! Well, yeah, I wouldn't count the brain tumbler as... or as his slash Oleander's dream as just a training suit as a actual mind. Like, this is our, our first true mind. 
as I'd like to say, just because it's like a legitimate theme, like a legitimate being. Got some meat-filled nightmare. Anyways, who knew that lungfish had such developed intellects? Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer of Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, Raz, he's so majestic! Yes! <laughs> Yes, Raz, roar! For in here, you are akin to a god! <laughs> oh, yes! Boom! As you probably guess, this is one of my favorite minds. I am Gagalore! I am akin to all that is holy, always unholy! I am the Alpha! I am the Omega! And I want to crush things. Boom! Oh, there is an orphanage, you say? I shall smash all the buildings. No orphanage shall stay around. There shall be no plot of Apollo justice. Fear me, large forehead orphans, for I am your worst nightmare. Oh, the water here, you cannot drown it yet because it's too shallow. But anyways, in here, you don't have your ball, your levitation ball, unfortunately enough. So, yeah, we're going to be just not using that. But we're going to have another power that's going to be taking its place. Don't you worry. <laughs> but I just love this whole perspective. Just hey, smash it. Down here. Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh my god! Ah! Suffer for your sins, small lungfish. He's dead. Oh jeez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gogolor. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogolor. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, <laughs> Gogolor. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogolor. In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades. Let me think about that. I am Gogolor, the mightiest of the mighty. Crush your cars and buildings and lamp posts and trees. I will instead jump on the building. Freedom! 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 hoo -ya! Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Oh, yes. And now we get shield. Is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe <laughs> one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogolor? Wait. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gogolor. For freedom! 
Yeah, good to know you guys are helping out. Anyways, because we can't use levitation, I might as well just put that on the shield button. I mean, really, just invisibility's gonna have its uses. Our bullets are gonna have its uses, and everything will. And my fists will definitely have uses. <laughs> the peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified <laughs> citizens have named Gugalor. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Soon, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. Oh my gosh. Brain... Radio tower that brain media that brainwashes the people. <laughs> it this is the it's the liberal media. <laughs> okay, but anyways, I get, I get. Anyways, this guy needs a duffel. Bag. Yes, Raz, I know about the duffel bag tag. I know about the legendary duffel bag tag. Okay, let's just collect a few more things. Yeah. You can't see me, you can't see me. Oh, right, the pump. Right. Anyways. Ah. Ah. I shall punch all of your buildings! For none of your buildings are worthy of my sight! Ah. Ah. Womp smash! Why do tanks a cow swamp? Slash! Ah. <laughs> now your sleep has been drastically reduced. I have been dealing blows. Now I'm on that orphanage. Where are you, orphanage? I'm gonna smash all the orphanages. Okay. Now I have destroyed all of your fun and interactive forms of education. Now the populace has been drastically reduced in terms of their academic knowledge of the natural sciences. Ah! And where is your godless tunnel now? Ha! Huh, you can't see me, but I can smash you! Oh cool, for one thing, it turns into feet! Who knew? Anyways, I'm gonna free the prisoners. Collect these pigments. Get the duffel bag tag. Oh, mental ball. But why would it just be so small? And, like the duffel bags and all the other mental baggage are off. Anyways, Lungfishopolis under siege. The lungfish lived peacefully in the sea. They picked flowers and played. Until a giant bug man came. The bug man held up his hand, telling them to stop. And immediately, the lungfish loved him. Because he was a giant bug man with a handlebar moustache that attracted all the ladies. He had them build cities. And one rebel had to save them all. Anyways. Okay. I need the purse tag here. Okay. Let's destroy this prison. Boom! I will destroy each and every building here because I am a glutton for destruction. Freedom! 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 <laughs> Freedom! So, this big monster, is that the best you can do? <laughs> We were short on time, and he is good at smashing things. <laughs> Amen Doesn't to that. Like much to me. Come on, let's blow this joint. Hey, you're welcome. So My that's exactly. Before, he's been in prison a long time. He's the only pilot the resistance has, and he has an excellent plan. Meet us at the dam so we can put it into action.
Okay, we will be meeting them at the dam in the next episode. Well, anyways, thanks for watching this episode. I'm glad you walk, watched it through. You're a great viewer. And anyways, I hope to see you in the next episode. Anyways, with that, I hope like, share, subscribe, comment, all those things people like to hear at the end of a YouTube video. Well, with that, I'll see you later.